Welcome to King Says So, a channel that advocates for one Africa, one land, one Africa, one language, one Africa, one currency, one Africa, one army. I wish to witness Africans all around the world united as one in our lifetime. Enjoy. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you for tuning in on King Said So. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 months since we have Arthur Fraser releasing the news that the president was hiding money under his residence in Palapala, we have a situation where the acting public protector, Usis Kuleka, has come out with findings that she sees nothing wrong with what the president has done. So we find ourselves in a situation where we are not taken serious as South Africans. Nobody takes us serious. The public protector clearly is on Cyril Ramaphosa's side because Cyril Ramaphosa himself has come out to say, listen, there was money found in my premises, but it wasn't those millions that those people were saying. So meaning he admitted of guilt. He also admitted of the guilt to say there was a breaking into his house and he reported it to his head of security. But remember, we were never told about this breaking in until Arthur Fraser saved South Africa and gave us the information. But as you know, as usual, depending on who is standing in front of court, South Africans act different. If it was, of course, the former president, Jacob Zuma, you would have been attacking him left and right for money that was found in Nkandla. And nobody would allow the president, uh, 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 Jacob Zuma, to say he did not know about the money. He reported it to someone. You, everyone would see that this is clearly a case of someone hiding information. But no. When it comes to Cyril Ramaphosa, we know uh, Miss Peterson, the late Peterson that passed away, told us that the courts are on Cyril's side. And it looks like, it looks like the public protector's office, of all offices, chapter 9 inst institution, is on Cyril Ramaphosa's side. Now, the ATM submitted a motion of no confidence against the president a year ago. And this then resulted to an independent panel being formed, headed by a former chief justice of the country. And they have found, that independent panel found that R Sira Ramaphosa has played a vital role in breaking his oath. This, this is the panel that was appointed. And the president was alleged to have, you know, used his security, uh, security, uh, private security to hijack uh, or kidnap, to kidnap rather, five gentlemen and one lady to ask them, where is the money? You guys remember what happened with that? Um, uh, that lady from uh, Namibia, the, the cleaner. So now, it got to a point where even in Namibia, in parliament in Namibia, the parliamentarians that side were asking, were asking Sir, uh, their president that he must answer how he helped Cyril Ramaphosa catch this man. What is the connection between him and Cyril Ramaphosa? This is very clear. So even in Namibia, they took it serious that this is happening. But you find a situation where South Africans don't take it serious. Or rather, the public protector's office does not take it serious. You remember, Busisi Mkobane was fired unlawfully. So the courts have said, no, Cyril Ramaphosa was reacting on emotion and there were no grounds of him suspending the public protector and you find a situation where she was attacked specifically for figuring uh, things out in the 
Palapala and the CR CR7 campaign. And also, she touched the Reserve Bank. Surprisingly, the Reserve Bank is mute because the Reserve Bank says you have to declare any foreign currency to a certain amount after 30 days. This was 12 months later and President Cyril Ramaphosa did not declare. And we have to, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's listen to the acting public protector. This small girl does not take us serious. This, this, this lady does not take us serious. You know, she thinks maybe because, you know, the, the, the office of the public protector has now advertised the, the, the post for uh, public protector. She thinks now she will be the one who's appointed there. She's dreaming. She's not going to be appointed for that for that um uh, for that post she can act yes it's fine but being appointed public protector of the of the when we look at the the quality the quality of the previous public protectors she's she's not there she's been found wanting many times she's inexperienced you understand but let's just listen what she said when she was clearing president Cyril ramaphosa the Buffalo sales transaction between Mr. Ndlovu and Mr. Hazim took place in the absence of the president, thus indicating that he is not involved in the ordinary business decision-making largely. The evidence revealed that the president held discussions with farm managers, notably regarding the disposal of certain animals due to them being substandard. In terms of the evidence placed before the public protector, the day-to-day -day operations of Palapala Wildlife are managed by Mr. Von Velach as the general manager with the assistance of about 40 employees. Though occasionally when the president visits the farm, they would seek evidence from him, advice for him, from him rather, and he would give guidance. Considering the evidence in its entirety and the application of the law, there is no basis to exalt such deliberations to a degree where it can be held that they exist. You heard it from the horse's mouth herself. She sees nothing wrong with what President Cyril Ramaphosa did and saying buffaloes were sold at, uh, in his uh, absence. And so what? So what is his business? Uh, is declared, by the way, for those who don't know, is declared because the president must not have divided attention when it comes to his job. His 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 call for the office of presidents must be first and nothing else second. But the president does not understand it. He has he has openly said, "Listen, I I sell buffaloes and I do whatever business I'm doing there. I've declared it." To the speaker in, in in parliament they know i've got that business now and then i engage in that business uh, but the business is operating without me uh, without my presence there i've got a farm manager uh, and a, a farm manager who's doing everything and all of that does not understand what what it means to be called as the president of a country we must really uh, thank a uh, president vuyo What's his surname? Zungula. Vuyon Zungula of the ATM, the African Transformation Movement. We must really thank this man for bringing us to confidence. And immediately when the public protector released this funding and clearing the president, the, the ATM president, Ubra Vuyo, said, we are appealing this. We have fixed our lawyers. We're going to attack this in court. And many other parties have come out to say, this is rubbish. Where does this girl come out with such a judgment? But she does not see that this judgment will hurt her in the future. Mrs. Kwan was so confident to say, listen, release, release my findings of the public protect or of uh, Palapala. Because Mrs. Kwan knew that there's no way Cyril Ramaphosa can be cleared with the findings that she's getting. Because this is her work, by the way. But you have... You have people like Fikile Mbalula, the Secretary General of the ANC, playing around. You know, I'm very disappointed with the Secretary of the ANC. And I'm starting to remember why other people are, are calling this man a clown. 
I'm starting to remember why they're calling him a clown. He's, he's turning that Secretary General Office of the ANC into a clownish and um, um, populist rubbish, just like what he did with the other portfolios when he was the Minister of Sports and so on. Everything becomes a joke when 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 Fikile Mbalula touches it. Listen to how he's speaking on the on the conference of the the twenty sixth uh, national election of the the youth league youth elec uh, uh, elections, making jokes, making you know making serious allegations jokes. But what does this mean? This funding. And the appeal of the president, what does it mean to the ANC and President Cyril Ramaphosa? Well, number one, I told you, the dark cloud is continuously following the ANC. And this is something that is going to haunt and hurt the ANC in terms of the 2024 elections. It's not looking good. You're not supposed to be having the dark cloud or unresolved issues going into an election. That's why it led for both Ace Mahashula and many other comrades to step down because there are court cases against them. But we know the courts are on Sira Ramaphosa's side. You know? So the ANC, this is not good. This is not good. The fight of the registration in the youth league, you know, people being registered, you know, the delay and everything. People are watching. If you can't organize a youth league conference uh, elect uh, to elect leaders, I mean, for the past how many years? Eight years. The last time, you know, we had an interim president or something like that. No president, no nothing in the youth league. The youth, I'm going to do a separate video on the youth league. So I'm very disappointed in terms of the public protector, Usis, Usis uh, uh, Kuleka. Moses Kulega has really disappointed me. And but when we, in this channel we read facial expression and everything, and you can see she's not uh, comfortable releasing that judgment that she had. Look at Tuliman Donzela when she spoke. Look at um Hwe Mwhe when he spoke. Look at um Wusiwem Kavane when he spoke. There is, there is a level of confidence that they speak in. And all of, of course, the other pro public protectors, uh, exclude the, the Chief Justice. So for me, it's not looking good for the ANC. It's not looking good for Cyril Ramaphosa. It's not a good look. He's going to continuously have to answer in court. And this is going to take his attention from, the, from running the election. He's tired. The old man is tired. He told us, he said, listen, I don't want to, I don't, I really don't feel like, um, I don't feel like uh, uh, being president. But when I wake up in the morning, I remind myself that it's not about me. It's about the people who elected me. Guy, guy. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, we're going to address this thing of the youth league. We're going to address this thing of the youth league. I wanted to address also what Zondo has said and why parliament is fighting Zondo. Let's see which other video we're going to do today. Until we meet next time, guys, I salute you. Asante sana. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the content, leave your thoughts on the comment section and hit the like and subscribe button and we will meet on the next one.